It's late January. I'm up here in northern Wisconsin on Pickerel Lake. Small little lake. I'm here with Reggie. He's already down on the lake. My name is Randy. You're watching Go Midwest Fishing. Alright, we moved to a second spot. Reggie put it on the camera and immediately we saw a bunch of fish on the bottom. And they look like bigger fish, like walleyes. Hoping they weren't just suckers. We never fished this lake before. We just kind of randomly picked it after uh, trying to fish lower Eau Claire Lake and it was wide open water. We couldn't get on it. So we just kind of picked this lake. Thought we'd try it out. The first section of it there, it's kind of really shallow. It looked like it was only five feet deep. So whereas it opens up into the second part of the lake, it starts to get deeper. And uh, we're currently at 19 feet of water. All right, we got fish in the area. I got a whole minnow on. Swimming in the background, man. I'm gonna see if I, I got a whole minnow on, so I'm gonna try to put the head on it. See if that entices them more. Alright, they're coming back to look at it. This lake's supposed to have, um, is this one with just a bunch of small fish in it, really? Yeah. Yeah, didn't say there was anything too big, like five inch bluegills and such, but we just spent the last two days getting skunked, so we came here thinking, well, might catch something, even if it is little. Yummy. Got him. <laughs> didn't even hit bottom. That's what's down there. All I did is switch it up to a little bit smaller jig so they could eat it, and bam, before it even hit bottom, they were hitting it. But I think this is pretty normal for this lake. There's a bunch of five inch bluegills. Here, I'll give it to Reggie. <laughs> At least we caught something. That was fun. Man, they said they're going to be here at three o'clock. Where is everyone? Hold it still. Okay, watch everyone, so I demonstrate how to eat the grub and not get hooked. And that's how it's done. Oh, we can spit it out. Okay, Johnny, give it a try. Oh, nice job. A bit bigger one, I think. Like I said, a little bit bigger. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Back down the hole for you. I you can see this is what I put on just a tiny jig with two spikes. Oh, we got him! I saw him coming up. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little dude. You got out the blue pole. Yeah, this is a really lightweight. Little guy. Look at that. You caught something. So we weren't expecting to catch big fish in here. We just wanted to catch something. So that's definitely something. Huge. Hey boys, I'll give you something a little extra. Oh, oh. big one. Ho, 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 ho. He just flew in out of nowhere. Oh, holy, holy crap! Oh, look at that thing! <laughs> Where'd you come from? Holy cow! <laughs> Where? We gotta show everybody what we, what we got here. Floppy, floppy, come here. <laughs> Grab him. Oh, jeez. Yeah. There it is. Nice that was one of the biggest bluegills I ever caught right here. Mm -hmm. Get this off you. You just flew it out of nowhere. Oh! You lose him. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> he's, 
slippery bugger. Let me get out of my camera. Yeah, get the camera. Look at that. That's a monster. Woo. Make sure no one blinked. All right. So there are some bigger ones in here. All right. Here you go. I knew you were bigger, but I didn't think you were that big. Holy cow. Richie caught four, so he says he's done. <laughs> yeah, so we just picked uh, Pickerel Lake here, just looking at the map, something close by that we could go fish, and it turned out uh, pretty good. We've been fishing the Eau Claire Lakes, and like didn't even we saw one fish on the three lakes. So we were looking for a different lake and found this one, and right off the bat, put the camera down, we saw a bunch of fish. Uh, at first it looked like there's some bigger ones down there. I don't know what they were, but... Um, so far, all we actually really seen were bluegills, and this lake is full of little bluegills. As you can see, we it's pretty much all we caught, except for that one giant bluegill that came out of nowhere. So I guess on occasion you could catch a big one here too. It's small; it's a small little lake, so it's pretty easy to fish. There's one deep hole out on the end, and otherwise it's a really shallow bay for um, most of the lake. If you're enjoying these lake reviews, you can visit GoMidwestFishing.com. I got a whole list of all the other lakes we, re we reviewed, including uh, some right around this area. So everyone, thanks for watching.